Hey guys, it's Lisa from Recreated Designs and I'm back with another tip of the day. And today we're going to be talking about top coats or clear coats. Okay, so I want to give you my tips for using a clear coat. Lots of times when you're doing a furniture project or a home decor project, you want to give it a really durable finish and the most durable finish that you can put on it will be a clear coat. Um, usually you want to use water-based clear coats and they come in all different um, brands and companies make them, but you do usually want to make sure it's a water-based clear coat. If you use an oil-based one, it'll actually turn yellow over time. So for most furniture and home decor projects, projects just make sure it's a water-based one so you can get all different brands of it and typically it has almost a milky look to it when you're going to open it up so the first thing you want to remember when putting a top coat on it is never shake the container whether it's in a can like this or a small container you never want to shake it when you shake it it's going to get air bubbles in it and those air bubbles are going to be really hard to get rid of and they're not going to give you a nice clear finish so depending on the size of container you can roll it around just gently like this you can turn it up and down um, you just want to be gentle so you want to mix it up you can even roll it on something like this you just want to mix it so that it is ready to go without shaking it so however you can do that okay so i've got two here and i've got my painted surface here so for clear coats i like to use these little foam brushes these disposable foam brushes that you can get just about any um, home improvement store they're really inexpensive and they will because they're smooth they won't give you brush strokes you really don't if you want a really nice smooth finish i really don't like using brushes for um, clear coats but these will give you a nice finish so just choose a size that's uh, appropriate for your project so i'm going to use um, i'll open this one up and like i said generally when when you open it up it's going to be quite milky inside and you can see this one is milky this one's got a bit of a milky color to it as well and that's okay it will dry completely clear when it's done but this will actually help you when you're putting it on so you can see where you've gone so the first thing i always do is pour a little bit out of the container or the can or whatever that it comes in into a container because I find it much easier to work with when it's in a flat container. Okay, so I've got my container with my product here and the biggest tri tr trick to remember when you're doing a clear coat is not to work it. So the more you work it, the more air you're gonna get in it, the more bubbles you're gonna get in it. So when it dries, you're gonna see those bubbles. So I've got my painted surface and I've got my top coat and my foam brush and I'm actually gonna use this one since I have a small piece here and I'm gonna dip my brush in the clear coat and I'm only gonna work in one direction. So I'm going to start putting my clear coat on. Can you see it here? I'm only going to go in one direction. It's almost counterintuitive if you're used to painting because when you paint, you want to go back and forth until you cover an area. With a clear coat, you want to do one direction. Try not to work it very much. So I really don't want to go back over this a whole bunch of times. I just put it on and maybe go back over it once to just kind of smooth it out and i'm going to do my whole board the whole width like that so again you want to work it as little as possible so we're just going to go down like this and by doing it this way you actually don't even have, some people like to sand between coats and i've never had to sand between a coat because it dries so lovely so I'm going this direction. I'm just going to smooth it out really quickly here just so that there's no ridges. And all I'm doing is dragging my brush over it. Now I can see that there are a couple of little spots that do not have clear coat on it and that's okay. I'm not going to keep going back over it with my brush. I'm actually going to let this dry overnight now. So I would let this dry overnight it'll dry clear the next day when i come back i will use the same products um, same size brush and i will go the opposite direction 
So by going the opposite direction, you're gonna pick up any of those little pieces that you missed the first day when you were going in the, the first direction. So then you can do that as many times as you like. I like to leave it overnight to dry, but some products you only have to leave for a few hours. It really just depends on what product you're using. But those are the main things to remember when you're doing clear coat. Don't shake the can, go one direction one day, let it dry, go the opposite direction the next day. And then if you wanna keep adding layers, you know, if you're using a tabletop or a countertop, you can keep building it up that way, going back and forth, but leaving, you know, leaving it overnight in between or doing it in the morning and then doing the opposite way at night. Just leave a few hours for it to fully dry. And like I said, these little foam brushes, they're a lifesaver because they're nice and smooth. They're not gonna leave uh, brush marks in your product and you'll get a nice clear finish. I do this all the time and like I said, I've never had to sand, I've never had a problem with bubbles and I get a beautifully clear finish on coffee tables, tabletops, dresser tops, whatever it is. And you can use this product this way, any of these clear coats you can use over any home decor or furniture paint. So it doesn't matter whether it's a chalk paint, milk paint, uh, mineral paint, whatever it is, you can use this over top. So. Hope that helps. Hope that gives you some quick tips on how to use a clear coat. Have fun. I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey guys, so I just wanted to pop in um, one more time. It's the next day now, so I wanted to show you that the top coat that I put on yesterday dried completely clear, even though it was milky looking, and it is super smooth. So what I would do today now is go and do the opposite direction and then let it dry overnight again, and then I'll have a nice protective coating. So there you go, that's all about top coats and uh, I hope that helps and gives you some good tips for using a top coat on your next project. I'll see you soon with another DIY tip of the day and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!